hello guys i hope all of you will be fine so this is the same question which we have previously solved okay uh, today we are going to solve the question number 1.7 of our book and in that question we are asked to find the standard deviation or variance of the data set we have here okay so we have here the data set and in previous videos we have uh, uh, found out the mean uh, mode uh, of the data set which we have been given but in real science in real life data science machine learning and all the data driven models it is not always possible for the mean to convey as the information for the viability of any data set okay so if it is not giving us the required information then we have to move towards another uh, moment and that is basically the variance so I have previously told you that we have the first moment and that is the mean. Mean is the first moment. If mean is not giving us the required information, then we have to move to the second moment and that is variance of standard deviation. Okay. So today we have to find out the variance of our data set and let's for it, let me move down here. So this is basically the data set we have and here in order to find out the variance for it variance is usually represented by s square in order to find it out what we have to do we have all these data sets we have to take any data set here from it i have to subtract the mean okay take its square and divide it over the number of points minus one this is basically the formula for it after it as we have many uh, points here so what i have to do i have to uh, subtract mean from each of these uh, points which are xi and uh, this i starts from the first data point and at ends at n so uh, all the data points which we have here we have to subtract mean from it square them and then add them together and at the end what we have to do we have to subtract we have to divide it over n minus one okay so that is basically the formula for the variance of a data set okay which basically shows us the average spread of the data okay similarly what if you want to find out the uh, standard deviation from it what do we have to do let me use uh, this color for it what we have to do for finding the standard deviation we have to what we have to square root it and it will ultimately give me s and here this s is basically what this is the standard deviation okay so we have to do it so now uh, for the same data set we have to find out the uh, variance and standard deviation so let me start it here so for it our data here is let me find s square so data we have is 2.5 the first point is 2.5 and do we have a mean for this problem uh, we can recall that here we have already found out mean of our data and that is here 3.79 okay so uh, let me use this mean here 3.79 is the mean and i have to subtract this mean from each of the point which we have here so 2.5 minus 3.79 okay, and then square it the second point here we have is 2.2.8 so i have to take 2.8 minus mean of it and that is 3.79 and then square it the third point here is again 2.8 so then again 2.8 minus 3.79 whole square okay and then uh, from it i uh, will do it for all the points which are here again 2.9 minus 3.793 minus 3.7 up to 5.6 
minus 3.79 so what i will have to do i will have to do it for the 5.6 minus 3.79 and then square it okay so what is the second uh, step here we have to add these square parts okay and after adding them i will have to add it over what add it over n minus one so how many points do i have here n is basically what the total number of data samples So n is what total number of data samples. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 data points. So 15 minus 1 according to this formula I have to do. It. Okay. So after carrying out all the operations and adding them together, what I will get the value of s square will be what? So it will be 0 0.9 or two okay so this is what this is the value of the variance which we had to find out okay after it we also have to find out the value of the standard deviation standard deviation and in order to find it out we have to take the square root of s and that would be 0. That would be what 0 0.942 okay square root and if we calculate it we will see that it will be 0 0.97 okay this is what this is the value of the standard deviation which is usually represented by s okay? so uh, that's what by using which we can find out the value value of the variance the value of the standard deviation and this is the methodology of doing so okay this is the call the second moment let me write it here second moment first moment is the mean second moment is the variance okay so that's it for today in which we have found out the variance and standard deviation for the data points which were given in problem 1.1 and this is the solution of my problem 1.7 okay so that's it for today and i will see you with some more interesting questions in our upcoming video take care of yourself and i will see you soon